Elijah, what grade are you in? A second grade. Second grade. And how old are you? Eight. You're eight. Eight o'clock means dinner time for Elijah Henderson. But instead of going to the dinner table, his mom helps him get hooked in for his daily dose of Pediasure. Elijah was born in May of 2004. And in October of 2006, he was diagnosed with a genetic condition called mosaic trisomy 18. When he was six weeks old, like I could tell something was off. Elijah's condition causes a delay in muscle growth, which results in a lapse in his muscles processing the information sent from his brain. The relief was that his condition wasn't fatal, but there's a lot of sadness to know this isn't getting better. Just like any mom, you don't want to think that your child has to go through anything that would be hard. She has really been proactive to give him all of the opportunities to live his life to the fullest. When Elijah was five, Ms. Stolman realized that Elijah could not hold down his food due to weak digestive muscles. Elijah was then fitted for a feeding tube that he is currently using. Is that where you hook you up? Yep. That's where your food goes, isn't it? There were just like days where I just would cry. I became overwhelmed with fears about his future. As a teacher, I immediately went to, what is Mims gonna be like? You know, he was two and I was worried about sixth grade. During a doctor visit at a Colorado hospital, which was meant to deal with intestinal issues, Elijah and his miracle of life were brought into the family's reality. One time we were um, in the hospital in Gunnison, Colorado. While we were there, like nurses and doctors kept coming in and out. And I was like, this is really not that exciting. And finally, like the 20th nurse that came in said, the hospital's shaken because when we have women do prenatal testing, trisomy 18 is one of the conditions that we tell people to terminate their babies for. None of us know what to do with the fact that we have recommended termination and here sits a little boy that can smile at you and interact with you and we don't know what to do. She's like, there's a staff meeting tomorrow because of his existence here. And Elijah does much more than exist. Actually, it's quite remarkable how much he is involved in, considering the numerous obstacles he faces every day. He's in Cub Scouts. Last year, he won his Pinewood Derby. Now he's in Special Olympics basketball. He's on the Blue Streaks, Blue Valley Blue Streaks team. Tuesdays, he goes and takes piano lessons. He also does a special dance class called Access Dance. This nonprofit organization helps kids with special needs enjoy music and dancing in a place where they feel like they belong. And whenever Elijah is picked up from this class or from anywhere else, there are three things that he always looks forward to. There are three things he wants when I pick him up. He wants to wear his Buzz Lightyear hat, which Mr. Reddington got him and is his favorite hat ever. He wants a chocolate shake from McDonald's and he wants to go home and let his dogs in. So those are three things. That's our goal. That's what we go do. Unless he has activities because he really wants to be around his friends. I think that sometimes people don't recognize that he, in many ways, is just like every other kid. You can get really bogged down in why me, but you know, my kid is not on dialysis. My kid's not dying of cancer. My kid can walk. And all of a sudden you're like, ooh, no, I'm okay. <laughs> Elijah is just one example that life is truly what you make of it. This is Andrew Swales and Caitlin Stevie for Husky Headlines.